Good morning, everybody. And morning to anyone who is joining us via Facebook, which I believe it is. We're going to go for this this morning. So we're starting bang on time, just in case it rains a little bit later on. <laughs> but we thought as it was the family service, we would go for it outside. And so um, I'm going to just uh, begin and then hand over to uh, Agnes and to Claire for our for our service, but it's lovely to see you and it's nice that we can be outside and we can have a sing, which was obviously part of it as well. So, uh, so a very warm welcome. And um, before we proceed with anything further in the service, we must read these bands for the uh, last time. And so I publish the bands of marriage between Gary Frank Piper of this parish and Kay Vanessa Austin of the Priory Church of Lady St. Mary Wareham. This is for the third time of asking, and if any of you know any reason in law why they may not marry, you must declare it. Let's uh, open our service in prayer. Have, do have your service sheet re ready, because in a moment we're going to say the opening prayer together. But Heavenly Father, we thank you that once again we can meet in this way and we can meet here in these lovely surroundings. And we thank you the, for the blessings that we have in living in this place. And we thank you for everyone who's here. One or two here, first time for a little while, so thank you, Lord, that they can join us. And we just ask that you will send down your Holy Spirit upon us, that we may worship you, and that we may know your presence here amongst us and between us, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's say together the opening prayer on the service sheet. Lord, today we recall your faithfulness. Thank you that you walk with us every day, that you are with us always. We proclaim that your promises are true and your goodness and love never fail. Amen. Let's stand, if you wish, and sing, Come People of the Risen King. <coughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, morning. John.
Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Agnes. I've just forgotten the most important part lately is the hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, as every month um, at this service, we celebrate the baptism anniversaries. And today, um, well, this service, in, in the past years, we uh, baptised Miles Jones and Edward Price. I think any of them are here. Sadly, we can't really light the candle outside. It's not going to stay lit for long. But um, please join me with um, saying the baptism anniversary prayer for um, all the children baptised in this church in the past years. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for all the children baptised in this church this month in the past year. We thank you that you love them and have accepted them as part of your family. We pray that they may continue to grow in loving and following you and pray that you will continue to bless them, their parents and families. In the name of our Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Right, we've got an activity that we're going to need some helpers with. <laughs> Who's brave enough? I've only got a big tap of water today. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn the camera on and any helpers that want to come and help, please use the hand sanitizer on top of the box and I'll get my bag of goodies for you. Well, well done, Right, so I've got a bag of goodies then and we've got a big tap of water. <laughs> That's not going to end up well, is it? <laughs> right, so have you unclean your hands, yes? We've got some really excited people here as well, which is really, really good. Right, so the first thing I want you to do is, in this bag there is lots of weird things, okay? So pick one thing and then have it before we pop it in the water, have a guess if it's going to sink or is it going to float. Naya, do you want some hand sanitizer? There you go. Right. Ready? If you want to pick up one thing. Is it going to float or is it going to sink? Float. Okay, go on, give it a go. Oh, wow. Yay! <laughs> That's good. All right, go on. Is it going to float or is it going to sink? Go on then. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not very exciting, is it? Right, next one. What have you got? A giraffe. Is it a giraffe? <laughs> I mean, I've never tried putting giraffe in a water. Do you think it's going to float or is it going to sink? Sink. Go on. Oh! Do you know that giraffes float? <laughs> wow, who you got? Olaf. Olaf. <laughs> Well, he's going to melt, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> so is he going to float, do you think, or is he going to sink? Yeah. You think he's going to float? Put him in. Oh, oh. oh, look, he can always do what he wants, what he dreamed of in the summer. He's floating. <laughs> right. Go on, Gracie. Uh, what have you got? It's Captain Hook. So it's Captain Hook going to float or is he going to sink? Mm. You think he's going to sink? No. Oh. No. oh, he's floating. No. It's not part of the pantomime, is it? But yeah, boo is a buddy, boo. Go on, Naya. Go on, reach deep. Ooh, an apple. Do you think apple's going to float or is it going to sink? Sink. Go on, pop in. Oh, 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 oh. Right, so not a single one of you have picked anything that sings. It's remarkable. <laughs> right. I'll go in for something. 
Oh, my keys. Are they going to fly or are they going to say? Say. Quite quickly. Quite quickly. Right. Good. Do you want to come back? <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think. Do you know what? I always wanted to check this one. Do you think, is this a tomato? Do you think that's going to float or is it going to sing? 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 Oh, I was, I was curious when I was packing my bag. There you go. Right, so shall we leave that one for now? Shall we? Right, do you want to go back? Don't worry, there will be more to do later. Thank you, guys. I don't know about you, but I found some of those things really surprising. And when we were trying to choose them, we think, yeah, that'll definitely sink. Don't need to test that, that'll definitely sink. And you think, no, it all floated, but never mind. We are going to have our reading, our reading now, and Frank's going to come and read to us. The reading comes from Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 23. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead, ahead of him to the other side. While he dismissed the crowd, after he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, he was there alone and the boat was already a considerable distance from the land. Buffered by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terri terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid, Lord, it is, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was, he was afraid and began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, truly you are the Son of God. Thank you, Frank. I have to say, Frank had about 10 minutes notice for that, so that was brilliant, <laughs> thank you. I was there. It was a busy day at school. We'd learned about floating and sinking and experimented with lots of different objects. After school, my friends and I packed some food and went down to the lake. We continued to drop things in the water to see if they would sink or they would float. As it got dark, my friends went home. I sat on the beach for a bit, then I lay down and went to sleep. Something woke me. Was it the wind? Was it voices? Out on the lake, in the dim pre-dawn light, I could see a boat on the water, rocking on the waves and being blown by the wind. The people on board were pointing and shouting excitedly. My attention was caught by a figure dressed all in white, standing on the shore. The man called Jesus of Nazareth. To my amazement, he started to walk across the lake to the boat on top of the water. That's not possible. It gets stranger. As the figure neared the boat, one of the men, I think it was Peter the fisherman, 
got out of the boat and stood on the waves. He locked eyes with Jesus and began to walk towards him across the water. Peter looked round at the waves and as soon as he took his eyes off Jesus, he began to sink. He cried out to Jesus, who took hold of his hand and helped him back to the boat. As soon as they got in, the wind died down and clearly across the water, I heard voices say in unison, truly, you are the son of God. I knew then and there that this Jesus was something special and I had to find out more. After all, I had seen a miracle. I was there. Now Tony is going to come and lead us in a time of confession. <clears throat> Our story is very much about one of faith and of belief in God who works. And we're going to say together in a moment Psalm 123. And that was a psalm that was written of, because people were ridiculing or doing down. And, and the psalmist uh, wanted God's mercy on, you know, why does God let this happen? And many people may laugh at us for our faith or think that the stories we tell are silly. We, however come together with confidence of what God has done for us and is doing for us and we believe he's real and he is there and so we ask for God's mercy and that the witness of God's people will go on and it will enable us to do it and yet we know we're inadequate for the task so our our reflection and our confession is very much about that as we uh, come to that now and you'll find that there's some words in bold type starting with all and let's say these together our eyes wait upon the Lord our God. Our help is in the name of the Lord. To you I lift up my eyes. O you who are enthroned in the heavens, behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid servant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than enough of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. Let's just pause for a moment. And sometimes just in these pauses, it's just whatever comes to our mind, we offer to God, whatever it is, those immediate thoughts. And we say together, we turn to you, O God, for affirmation and acceptance, not contempt. We are weary of sin and wrongdoing, and we look to the hand of God to lift us up and heal us. Hear our prayer and breathe in peace and assurance of your love and forgiveness. Amen. Gracious God, you call us to fullness of life. Deliver us from unbelief and banish our anxieties with the liberating love of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, we're going to sing My Lighthouse, but I'm guessing that there's some actions to this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy to follow the in, in, uh, actions, but I'm not good at them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so um, does anyone want to come to the front to do the actions? Any brave? I know, great. I can always count on Gracie, she always comes and do actions for me. Anyone? Any other brave souls? If we all stand, then. Yes, yeah. we, we all stand anyway. And yes. Then one we'll... or two people come forward if we want. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well. Maybe you're not in the spot. Do you know this one, don't you? Know? <laughs> Where's Abby? Do you want to come over here?
This one is a very complicated engineering activity. No, I'm kidding, it's not. <laughs> right, does anyone want to come and play with some a bit of water again? Right. So we know that some of the objects, I'm going to pop some more in that should sink. Right. There we go, we've got some things in the water that are definitely down the bottom there. Some in, yeah? And now I need you to um, make them make them float. But I'm going to give you something not very easy to make them float with. Bear with. It will float, so that's a good sign, isn't it? But if I was to take my keys, put them on top, it's not going to work, is it? Because it's slipping off. So, what you can think? What you think we can do with that to make it float? Make a boat. Go on then. <laughs> I 
my prop, proper blue Peter when I made earlier. <laughs> that is the sort of boat. Well, anything that... Yeah. Naya, you want to something? Yeah, as me. Yeah, the boys are doing proper engineering there. Of the folding, you know, look like the guys just crunch it up. Yeah, Gracie, that's good. So if I take my little boat I made earlier, put the keys in. Yeah, do you want to try yours? Go and pop that on. And do you want to grab one of the things of the bottom of our big leg and pop it in and see if it's if it will keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> see what you think that will go on as me, go try. Pop that in. Yes! Well done. Oh Matthew, is that a cruise ship? <laughs> Yeah, that, that board. Go on. Go on, girls, you can, you can go and try yours as well. Yes, go on. And they're all floating. Isn't that amazing what you can do with a little bit of tin foil, eh? Ah, thank you, you can go back now. Well done, guys. Good engineering skills. <laughs> We've seen some pretty amazing things in our lifetime. Mankind can fly through the air and even up into space. Machines have been developed to travel on, in and under the water. Vehicles are being developed to go further, faster and more efficiently than ever. We have the ability to talk to people many miles away and even see them nowadays. But even so, I wonder how we would react if someone told us they had witnessed men walking on top of the water. Would we be sceptical or believing? Would we indeed have faith? St Matthew's Gospel tells us that Peter was able to walk on water himself as long as he kept his eyes fixed on Jesus. But as soon as he looked away, as soon as he tried to rely on his own human frailty, he faltered. And so it is with us. If we keep our eyes firmly fixed on Jesus, have faith in the word of God, and believe in the power of prayer, we too can witness miracles. Now we're going to sing again. <laughs> we're going to sing, I will offer up my life. Please stand if you're able.
Please be seated. We're going to come to our time of prayer and the response today to living Lord Jesus is keep our eyes fixed on you. Living Lord Jesus, we love having the opportunities to live, walk and play in beautiful places and beautiful spaces. Help us to work together to look after our world and the creatures that we share it with. Living Lord Jesus, keep our eyes fixed on you. Living Lord Jesus, we pray for those in charge of our country. We pray for your protection for our Queen, Prime Minister and other Ministers. We pray for all those managing the COVID-19 crisis and the vaccination programme. We pray for our local councillors and all those who look after our town. Living Lord Jesus, Keep our eyes fixed on you. Living Lord Jesus, we pray for our teachers, teaching assistants and young people as they return to school. We pray that they are refreshed and renewed, ready for the final half term of the school year. Living Lord Jesus, keep our eyes fixed on you. Living Lord Jesus, we pray for our families and friends, for joy, love and laughter. We thank you for the joy of spending time together and rediscovering each other after so long apart. We pray for those who are lonely, who have no family or whose families live far away. Living Lord Jesus, keep our eyes fixed on you. Living Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are in any sort of distress, those who are ill, those who mourn, those who are anxious, the homeless, the mentally frail. We leave a moment to remember those on our hearts today, praying especially for Lucy and her family. Living Lord Jesus, keep our eyes fixed on you. And we're going to gather all our prayers together and all our thoughts together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I'm going to hand over to John for Will Your Anchor Hold? Thank you. Please stand.
we've learned today, haven't we? To keep our eyes fixed on Christ. No water is going on around us. Whatever people may say, and whatever may draw our attention away, we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. So may the God of love and power stretch out his hand to touch you and strengthen you by his spirit. And may he raise you to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you and those for whom you pray, now and always. Amen. Amen. Amen.